Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new shape catalog that was renewed in Tackle Structures version 2021. So if you've ever used items before, you can access them here either on the steel or concrete tab. So I'll just go ahead and click on this. And what this will allow you to do is to insert an item or a shape from our shape catalog directly into the model. And the advantage of items is that it can be a collection of parts that create a 3D geometry that you want to insert into the model that otherwise would be difficult to create individually in Tecla or would just require a whole collection of piece marks that it would make it unruly uh, to manage in drawings and reports. So a good example in the steel world of that would be like a safety gate. As you can see this example here where it's a collection of multiple parts that could be welded together if I only wanted one piece mark to identify that safety gate, then I could just simply collect that into an item. You can also insert shapes from other products such as SketchUp so that that can then just be inserted as one single collection of 3D geometry that you can then manage and manipulate as needed. So here's a look at the updated interface that we've created. You can see here on the ungrouped section, I have several items here. In a minute, I'll show you how to customize all this, which is also part of the improvements that were introduced in version 2021. Uh, you can see we have one formwork panel here since I'm in the still detailing role. If you were in other roles, you would likely have a lot more options uh, that would be visible here. So this is what it initially looks like. If I come and cancel out of that and go up to file down to catalogs and open up the shape catalog, you can see that this is the full shape catalog that will allow me to customize this the way that I want specific to my company and then easily share these files in a firmer project folder so that everybody has the same consistent catalog information that you've created or customized. So let me walk you through some of the functionality of this. As you notice here, I have several in the ungrouped section. So if I wanted to clean this up or organize it a bit better, what I can do is I can come up here and go to new group and that will create a new folder that I can work with. So let's just go ahead and call this my miscellaneous detailing group. I'll go ahead and click on create and then I'll just go ahead and add some additional subgroups as well. So let's call one ladders. And then we'll go and create another one called grading and then I'll create one last one and let's just call this uh, checkered plate. Click on create and now when I come back to my ungrouped section what I can do is just begin dragging and dropping so I can find my safety gate select that here I'll drag and drop that into the ladder section then I can come grab all of my grading and move that to the grading section and then I can do the same for my checkered plate. So now I have all of this organized into subgroups under my miscellaneous detailing. If you come in and select one of these objects, you'll see here the properties on the right hand side. So if you want to insert additional data, you can do that. For example, like a product code, description, the tech structures version, depending on when you create that, that could be automatically populated, the manufacturer, and you can even include a URL link. One last option that we have down here at the bottom are tags. So if you want to add additional tags to objects, so let's just go ahead and call this uh, project one. Maybe this is something that I'm using on that project. I can insert that there. And then maybe I can do the same thing over here. And I'll just choose the one that I used already. And now over on the left hand side, I can click on tags, go to project one. And now I can see these two options that are available there. If I right click, I can export these. Um, I can delete and remove the tags as required. So a lot of freedom and flexibility to organize this any way that you would want. When you're working in at the user interface, you have the ability to adjust these columns. So I can click and drag and move those around as needed. I also have the ability up here to show or hide columns. So here's some additional information. If I wanted to show the TS version or the source, I can turn that on. If I wanted to hide any of this information, I can just simply uncheck them and then they'll be removed from my view. And then I also have the ability to fit the columns. I can import or export shapes as required. And then we have some selection options here. So I can select all, I can select none. 
If I have a collection of items selected, I can use this invert selection to grab the others that weren't selected, again, making it easier to interact with this. So when you're done and have made the changes that you want, you can just simply go ahead and click Save. That will then store files, as I mentioned before, in the model folder. So if we open up the model folder here, you can see that I have the shape catalog settings. You can take these and copy these into firm or project folders so that other people can get the same settings that you've created. So I'll go ahead and close that. And now when I come in and open up my shape catalog, again, things are here organized the way that I just created in the editor. So as I click through here, I can see these settings. Here are my tags. If I want to come in and star some of my favorites, I can do that and then click on the starred section and those will appear here. And then anything that you've inserted or activated recently, like the safety gate ladder, will show up in your recent list. So this is a significant improvement compared to the old dialog box that we had, allowing you to customize this, make it easier to access the information that you want. You, of course, you can come in and filter by anything that you need to find if you have a, a longer list, depending upon your project requirements. But overall, we hope this makes it easier to use, more intuitive and it makes you more efficient on your projects. So as mentioned before, this update and this improvement was made in Tackle Structures version 2021. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.